Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Gadgets are a very important aspect of our society. Without gadgets, the society Who knows? would not function. It would not function, especially American society. Gadgets make society great. Why does it make society great, Phil? Like I said, necessity. You just can't get by with something that's supposed to be by. You can't. How can you not? Look at all the gadgets out there. Look what they do. There are no alternatives. What are you going to do? The zero button. Okay. Put holes in the pencil. Put pencil at that part. Do we really need holes to be poked? Yes, we do. Why is that? We bring binders. You would not need a three ring binder. How about folders? Folders! What are you going to do? You know, you're going to be sitting out. Organization, necessity of life. Them freedom. Organization. I agree, gadgets are very valuable if they don't override all of society. I'd like to demonstrate our first gadget, one of the coolest gadgets, one of the best ways you can spend a dollar nineteen. It is a pen and a pointer. It's a pen. It's a pen. Whoa. And a pointer? And a pointer. In what? That In one. A buck twenty? A buck twenty. Discounter store and pullover. <laughs> great store. Great, great, great store. I don't the pen part broke. But do not despair, the dollar twenty is not wasted. I'm having this greatest problem lately with pens and pens are not functioning. It's very frustrating. Now that the free store is closed, there's not a good source of pen and pens. However, the computer labs do. I get point. Corporation. Hey honcho. Assistant head honcho. Assistant to the assistant. Assistant to the assistant to the assistant. <laughs> All the way yeah. down to the worker. I could also talk about plant taxonomy. That's right. Here is a spruce. Here's a pine. Here is a redwood. Here is an elm. 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 Oh, you can make a blue. We can do physics. Momentum plus force equals quantum mechanics. We could do chemistry. Sodium plus chloride equals sodium chloride. But you need a chalkboard. Why do we need a chalkboard? But you need one. The point is not good. Not necessarily. The pointer is good for very much. The pointer can. We can use it to point at people. Some people may get offended. Others <laughs> may enjoy it. I remember when we were doing the involvement fair, this one dude I knew took the pointer out of my hand. And I felt like a dude in the Bible that got all his hair chopped up and lost <laughs> all his power. If you can think of a better way to spend a dollar twenty, let me know because this is a great use of a dollar twenty. Excellent classroom tool, excellent tool to hold around. I remember Phil also likes pointers. I was in his room one day and he was pointing a stick. I don't know where that stick went, and I don't think where that is either. Point, pointing helps emphasize what you are saying. It helps make your message stronger. That's a big pointer, carry it in your pocket, use it for a weapon if you get mugged. I mean, that sucker will hurt you at some point in your face. Non-violently, of course. <laughs> Only in self-defense. I works. encourage everyone to buy one of these pointers. The pointers will make society great. They will help speakers emphasize their points, and they will bring justice and liberation to the entire mass. Still, oh, order ten of them. Ten of them. Yes. True. One each hand. Did you just break it? Got to get this on tape. Slang for a small device or tool used in performing miscellaneous jobs, especially 
talking just a bunch of crap. Junk. We'll see what that's in the dictionary. It's a small device. Where's your limit? Before I answer that, Junk. Discarded of material as glass, scrap iron, paper, rags. Okay, flat bottoms, Chinese ship. <laughs> Rubbish work. Junk is worthless matter. Stuff is not worthless. It has worth. Okay. Imagine trying to point with just your finger on the chalkboard. Would that be very effective? It would be. That there's more emphasis with the pointer, especially if you make a wacky sound on the chalkboard. What is the mascot of this university? Pointer. This is pointer. What will it take is the name of the Letters and Science College newspaper. <laughs> this is a fine gadget. Ah, you can fly. I found a nickname. A trinket. Trifling article. Trifling is kind of being worthless, isn't it? That's a knickknack. Vlog goes straight on. <laughs> safe lock. Imagine what college life would be like without a safe lock. After 9 o'clock, stick it in the door, and you're entering the dorm. The person that made this is probably Richard and Bill Gates. Up there, up there. Marvelous technology. What if we had a key? Then we have more keys on our keychain. I already have many, many keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven keys. Gadget that does not work. A light from RHA, a small light, wasn't very effective because it's very small. But it's a gadget nonetheless. More people had these, more universities, wouldn't universities have better cohesion as a society? Jason, will the safe lock take over the keys for all society? It very well might. Would that be bad or would that be good? Yeah. Can, yeah. You, can you break in to a safe lock door? I can't go here. It's on the Too much of life on the machine. Keys. I did have a problem with my safe lock because I put it too close to other magnetic strips in my wallet. <laughs> Therefore, it wouldn't function. And then I had to get a new safe lock. So now I should put it in my left pocket and put it in my right pocket. Good idea. You had a question before? Size, yes. Oh, size. size. I would think that That would definitely be a gadget, but it's bigger than a three-hole punch. You see that is strictly kitchen-wise, it's different things. Like, as far as the kitchen, like this is a gadget. A blender, that's an appliance. I mean, that's, that's good. Okay. Juicer, appliance. And a blender, small. Smaller, a real blender, gadget. What if appliances keep evolving and they become the size of gadgets and you can't really tell the size of them? Then you would just have to classify gadgets. Someone's going to have to come up with the taxonomy of gadgets. <laughs> Why are we studying plant taxonomy? Why don't we study gadget taxonomy? Where is the major in college? Gadget major. What's your next gadget, Bill? My next, oh, I gotta, I gotta talk more about my garlic press. And I can't function without it. By far the best kitchen gadget ever, right here. Why? It's so much easier than using it the old fashioned way to jump it into as soon as I expect this. Alright. First of all, it's the right kind of stuff. But, this can take on massive amounts of garlic cloves, depending on the size. If they're small, you can go up to four garlic cloves at one time. So that's pretty darn good. You go up to big garlic cloves, the size of maybe like a, a sugar marble. Big. Anyway, got the built in basher. Uh, in the hole. Squeeze the two handles 
together and out comes rolls. You're done. All you gotta do is just take yourself out of here and punch everything out. Punch everything out. Fall out. Fall out. Fall out. So much easier than the old fashioned way. How did you do it with the knife? With the knife. How did you do it with the knife? Not fun. Before I had the garlic breath, I did it the knife way. The knife way. You have knife, you have garlic. Well, you put the garlic cold down, take the knife, and you put it on the flat side of the garlic, and you take your fist, and you mash it. Now you gotta make sure you don't cut yourself on that sharp knife. So preferably get one of those bigger knives, like the Chinese chefs have. That works nice. So, then you gotta pick apart the little garlic leaves on there and the peeling. This was even cheaper than $6.99. This was obtained from Clover Discounter Store. This is a stamper. You can stamp the date. Librarians used to use this, but now they don't because they think this is archaic. That is their folly. Their mistake. This goes all the way up to 1997. <laughs> and not archaic. Every time you need to stamp a post-dated book, you can use this. 25 cents at a discount store. A bargain and a half. We have an ink pad downstairs. We can stamp our delay. If you want to get rid of 1997, 1995, 1993, you can move to a blank and then do the date, August 3rd, November 6th, voting day, school referendum. Imagine how much trouble librarians would have if they had to write in every book when it was due. They would have broken hands. Now libraries would perish. It would be very sad. Makes society great, it improves education, 
which allows us to connect and retell stories that we could not otherwise tell. This was obtained for two dollars at a church garage sale in the Crofts. Wonderful, wonderful bargain. That's the But I did not bring a stapler. I brought even more of a necessity. The three hole punch. Why a three hole punch? Because everyone has paper binders and everyone has paper that does not have three holes in it. You need to get holes in it. Because you just don't want to open up the fridge binder and push the paper down onto the, the, the rings. No, so that's not going to work. You get it. You know, because it'll be uneven. Slide the hole nicely. Take care of it. Did you steal that? No. No. Where did you find some nice things? Where did you find this nice thing? Metal ones. Like a shop coat, Walmart, any place like that. Right. Buying stores. Pricey or not? I don't remember price wise. But it's worth the price. No matter how much it. material together. Oftentimes you'll be in areas where there's no staple available, and I come to the rescue with my wonderful stapler. This was fairly cheap too. My mom gave it for me for a present. Very durable. It's rubber. If you threw it against someone's head, it might not hurt as much as a metal stapler. And accompanying this is a stapler remover. Oh. If you actually staple incorrectly, you may need to remove it. If you have a stapler that staples ideas that you need to see, you can remove it. This is a very powerful device. It is produced from Stanley Bostics. Imagine how difficult college and high school and grade school and preschool would be without staplers. Where would we all be? We'd be in the depths of despair. Usually you see these little bubble blowers with the 
one circle stick. Oh, you gotta get the Swiss Army bubble board. Look at this, it's got six different fun shapes that you can make. They all come out like a circle. Let's go. That circle with the bar. Regular circle, the diamond, the yeah. square, and two crosses, two crosses, and then also we've got four separate parts. Circle with triangle and the heart shape. Each one is made within. Swiss Army knives. Would they want to be neutral? <laughs> Could that be why Switzerland is always neutral? Because they use Swiss Army knives. Let's suppose I mean no one's gonna want to fight someone with a Swiss Army knife. Especially the one that have like you know like hundred dollar ones that have like five thousand and seven little gifts.
know, some people like to watch it. You know, I personally back in it, back in high school, I didn't buy it. So I bought their homework with them and to watch them. Like Ronco, I call Ron Popio, the master, another master of gadgets. I like to watch his infomercials back in high school. Sunday mornings, infomercial time. <laughs> Exalt gadgets to high heaven, because gadgets make society great. Gadgets are marvelous, stupendous, superb, and splendid. They make life easier. Much, much, much easier. They build bonds in the human race. <laughs> gadgets are going to take over somehow. Like Inspector Gadget people are going to take over. Sooner or later, there's going to be somebody coming in. And he's going to be like a stretchy gadget and take over the world. I'll be right there with him. So I'm not going to fight against him. <laughs> Gadgets rule! There's the government of fear that interfere with the patents. So they call them patents. Patents? I'm right. The government says you cannot have this gadget because it's against the rule. Or okay. mm-hmm. under the government? But he has a patent. Once you need a patent to uh, sell your gadget? Well, you don't need one unless you want other people to rip it off. Your idea. I mean, pretty much you can get a patent for anything now. And, uh, they last like 13 years or something like that. Have you thought about making your own gadget? Come up with more? Yeah, you know, I'm thinking about that next time. Like, that would be something else. I did that back in the day when I was a young child. People, people are thinking about gadgets all the time. Long live gadget!